What's going on you guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about cost of rent and where we're currently at since 2020. We'll also look into how to look for an apartment. We'll look at my favorite app, which is actually formed kind of like a dating app. So it actually makes flipping through houses really simple and really efficient. And lastly, we'll talk about some of the roommate finding options out there. If you don't have a crew yet that you're currently looking to get an apartment with or a house with, if you need to currently find some roommates when you're just moved into the city or whatever the reason may be, we'll also look at those other options. So let's get started. But first, if this is your first time checking out this channel, my name is Max. I do videos on rent crisis in San Francisco and also amateur investing because when you save a lot of money on rent, you gotta put it to some good use. So I did a video on the cost of rent and I also did a video on what that did for me moving from an old apartment to a new apartment and how my accommodations have completely changed due to the rent decrease. And you can also check out my video on how to value any stock to get started with investing if you'd like to. So let's wait no further. Let's get started right now and get into the meat. So the first thing we're going to look at is an update of how San Francisco rent is doing compared to when I last updated it, which was around December time. This was about the best time for renters and the worst time for landlords. So let's look at the data and what we can see since then and where the trend is actually going so that you can make the best decision for yourself, whether you're a landlord or you're looking to rent at a best price. If you're looking to move into the city, if you moved out of the city, does it make sense to maybe move back in? Maybe not because you're probably getting a really good deal. If you can work from home, that is absolutely amazing. That way you can have a car, you can drive somewhere, you can have kids, not worry about the busy life of San Francisco. But for all of you that are enjoying your twenties, your thirties, and you absolutely love a major city and you love everything that comes with it, definitely renting is probably a great option for you. And right now is probably one of the best times for you to actually go ahead and grab an apartment in one of these major cities. So what we're gonna talk about in this video today will actually apply to San Francisco, you can apply to New York, Chicago, and so on and so on. Whatever major city or any city for that matter, in US, you could go ahead and look at the data using the tools that I'm using. And you can also use the app that I'll be showing you guys or the various apps for finding roommates and use them to your advantages to find the best deals, find the best roommates and save the most money so that you can go ahead and later invest it. So since I last reported the rent price for one bedroom has not moved at all. It was negative 24% back then in December. It is negative 24% now for one bedroom. However, if we switch to four bedroom or three bedroom, things look a little bit different. So we'll go ahead and switch to four bedrooms. And right now we're seeing a negative 25% before we're seeing negative 30. So we can already see a kind of a leg up towards recovery of rent in San Francisco. This is maybe people getting their friends and getting into nicer places, getting to better apartments for them and their group. So this might be the case. However, what we want to note here is that there's definite trend upward. All right. So starting in 2019, where things were very different from 2020, We'll quickly compare the prices to 2020 and we'll see if we're seeing a trend up into 2021. So right here we can see in December 2019, we can see 3,500. That's a pretty high price. January still pretty high, even higher than December, February, March, April, May. This is where things began to slip a little bit. And then you see June, July, August kind of got even worse. September, October, November, December is basically the rock bottom. That's the last time I reported on this. And you can see that over here, it looks like it's stabilized and it's kind of trying to take a leg up for the one bedroom, but it's kind of floating around the exact same price. But if we switch to four bedroom, the story is going to be a little bit different. So you can see the prices since August are coming down, coming down. They hit December and they go up in February, which is what we're currently in right now. And this is consistent with what I was saying 
where in December the prices were a little bit lower for the four bedroom, but it stayed the same for the one bedroom. Now let's look at more graphs to get more data. We can see the growth of rent in San Francisco. It's been quite negative through all of 2020, but you can see 2021 hit and there's a slight leg up. So what this means is that right now is the time where the apartments and people are realizing that it's time to migrate back if they are looking to move back because some people, when the pandemic ends, are gonna be required to work in the office. Some are gonna be given an option, but some are gonna stay completely offline. So it might be a while till we see the highs of 2019 that we saw previously. But if you are looking for a place and you are looking to move into a major city like San Francisco, New York, Chicago, then this is the time for you to actually do some good apartment hunting. Now is the time. All right, now that we have looked at the data and we know where the numbers lie, we can make a decision for ourselves that right now is actually a good time to grab an apartment, move with your friends, or look for some roommates and grab the best deal possible. Now, looking at my favorite app, and that's the Apartment List app, you can go ahead and download it. This is an app that you can use for all of US, and I really like it because it's formed like a dating app where you scroll through apartments, you either don't like them or you do like them. So now that the little interview is over, we're gonna go ahead and set up the app to my preferences and you can follow along and set it up to your preferences and see what kind of results you get if you're currently looking for a place and you're watching this video because of that. And then we'll also quickly look at some of my likes and I'm gonna talk about why I like them or why I love them and why do I think it's gonna be awesome to tour them, whether that's a neighborhood call or amenities call or just it's a really nice place. All right, so let's dive into the app. I'll show you guys how I like to filter it and how I like to not limit my searches. So let's look at it right here on the screen and follow along. So you can put in your zip code and what you're looking for. So this part is gonna be really important because they're gonna show you basically mainly options that you select within here. So if you select a three bedroom, that's what it's gonna show you mostly. And then it could sometimes suggest like a four bedroom, which is slightly more than what you're asking for. So let's go ahead and say three bedroom. That way it can show you a four bedroom as well. But let's say you're looking with friends and let's say your budget is $5,000 that's for all of you. So whether that's three or four that is renting with you and then you can fill in your commute. I'm just going to skip this question because if you are working from home or there's multiple of you that are looking to grab the place, it doesn't really make sense to put in a commute for you, but we'll just go ahead and skip that. If you have pets, you can say yes here, or you can go ahead, say next. So for, for features that I want, I typically don't select these, but I will go back and look and make sure that they're there. It's kind of a back process, but I don't want to limit any options. Like let's say I really want air conditioning. I know that if I hit air conditioning, I'm going to have like five to 10 results. And that's pretty poor because like it or not, San Francisco, not very many places air conditioned. The one I'm currently in luckily enough is, but I think when we're going to make a move very shortly, it's not going to be anymore. And that is very, very sad. You'll see a very nice luxury apartment and it's not going to be air conditioned. So now what kind of building are you looking for? Honestly, I don't really care. And the roommates that I'm looking to rent with don't really care. So we're just going to select all of the options, hit next, move in date. So let's say that's May 1st, hit next. What am I looking for as for a move aid date? I don't need to move, but I can be flexible. I think that's a good option. That way you're not too forced to do anything. And what are you looking to sign? I think six months is pretty good. Although right now to get the best deal, you probably should be signing 12 months because I do think things are going to recover in 2021 for San Francisco. It might be not up to the highs that it had previously to the pandemic but it will be pretty close or maybe midway somewhere in the middle there. But if you are looking for the best deal and you don't mind the 12 months, go ahead and do that. I think our group prefers six months. So that's what we're going to do here. Hit next co-signer roommates, probably roommates. I think that's a good option. 
Have you ever been evicted? Hopefully not. <laughs> all right, and here's where you sign in. They go ahead and explain to you how it all works. Like that way, then you can view your likes. You can see and check out all of your matches. So let's go. Okay, so the options that match my everything. This is actually a place that I liked, I think, or loved on my account. So the way it works is you could go ahead and flip through the pictures. So you can click on the image and then scroll through them very quickly. So this is a really nice place. Got a really nice kitchen, also kitchen, living room, and so on and so on. Let's see here. Yeah, nice game room. You know, overall a great place. So for me, that would be, and it's a pretty good price for what we're asking here. It's a three bedroom. And the other thing is that there's rent specials for all of these. So the rent price that you see might not be the total rent that you get. It could look like 4,500, but at the end of the day, if you're getting, let's say four weeks off, that means a month off of rent, or sometimes they'll offer even 12 weeks off. That's really good. So that means that you can get your net effective rate down. So going from $1,500 each for each one of your roommates, it could be like $1,200 because of these rent specials going on right now. So let's say we love that one. And then you can say if you want them to reach out and place a visit or not, I'm gonna say no thanks for now. And over here in that corner that I just hit right now, you can see all of your love it listings and you can go into further detail about property info and so on and so on. Let's log back into my account and see some of the options that I have absolutely loved and will probably be looking to get a tour of. So let's dive into that. Easy peasy, we're in. So if we go ahead here, you can go to your short list and it shows you all of your options on the map here. I think that is so cool. That is really awesome because it makes your decisions very simple. So the options that you love in the neighborhood that you love, you can talk about this with your roommates. If you are getting it with a crew, if you are looking for roommates or you are a single person looking to grab just one bedroom, we'll talk about some of the options for you, some of the awesome options that are out there to save you the most amount of money and make your search process so much easier. All right, so over here, some of the apartments that I really liked, I really liked this one, Brandon Apartments. That one looked really cool. What is this? Starting at contact, not a very good price, starting at contact. Martin, that one was a little bit expensive. Landing, I really liked this one. This one was really cool. It's Potrero Hills. That's one of my favorite neighborhoods. You get a great view of the city. It's right on top of the hills. That's why probably they call it Potrero Hills. It's got a great history behind it. And if we look through these images, they look absolutely stunning. They're definitely professionally done. There's places to hang out. If you keep scrolling, there's lots of places that you can play games. There's a gym and it keeps going on and on and on. I'm trying to talk fast and I'm trying to not scroll too fast so you guys can check it out and see what you think of them. You can go ahead and hit on that image, give it more clarity and scroll that way. Go ahead and look at all of them. Let's scroll. So this is the apartment here, obviously. So you get to see some of the like, these are probably the stage rooms. These look really, really nice. And maybe you can ask them to stage your place like that for a fee or I don't know if this currently comes in with the price or with the deal. We'll check it out when we actually go ahead and tour it and we'll ask all of those questions and I'm sure they have more information here on the app as well. So you can keep scrolling, you can scroll through all of these options and they have croquet and so on and so on. So great option there, lots of great options, but let's say you don't have a crew that you would be getting an apartment with so let's look at some of the options for the people that are currently looking for roommates because I ran into the same situation when I was looking for a place and what I ended up looking at is these three things. I looked at Facebook, Craigslist, and I also looked at third option, which is just Googling some of the roommate finder options out there and participating in them. I'm assuming that you guys are familiar with Facebook Marketplace you will hit the rent tabs and you can go through it. And the reason why I like it is 
it's actually linked to people's Facebook accounts. So you can see if it's a real person, you're much less likely to get scammed. You can also filter out, there's a filter for filtering out if you are looking to rent from an actual individual or you're looking to rent from a company. So that's a filter that you can hit right there as well. You can message somebody directly on Facebook. And I think that's all really nice and much safer than Craigslist. Craigslist can be a little bit on the sketchy side, especially with those lower price deals that they're offering you a bedroom for $250 in San Francisco. That's just not gonna happen. You know, I couldn't even get that back home in Canada. So looking at that, you know, even $500 is like, mm, maybe not. 750, you'd probably be sharing a bedroom at that point. So definitely be careful with the deals that are going on on Craigslist. And the last option, the roommate finders, it's really simple. Let's Google it right now together. And then I will comment quickly on some of the ones that I used in the past and that were my favorite to explore and check out. I think roommates.com and roomie match, those were probably some of my favorite picks. So if you are looking for another person to join you, that is probably the best way for you to go about it. That's the one that I can actually recommend. So I hope you have a good time searching for an apartment. If you have any questions, do reach out to me in the comments or you can hit me up on my social media. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned anything at all in this video, I would really appreciate it if you smash that like button. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, commenting, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. <music>